Maya Mabuhay! Welcome to Maya's Journeys in Life. Today, I am going to show you how I did this to my hair. I bleached my hair roots, these hair roots of mine, twice. I did this here at home at my very own comfort zone at this very room right now. If you have seen me on my social media accounts and if you have seen the last video of me dyeing my hair, I had a purple hair before bleaching it like this. I wanted to change my hair color but unfortunately, I forgot to buy a hair color remover together with my bleach. So I just did bleach the other parts of my hair too to remove the residue from my purple hair because it's really hard to remove guys. For those people who wanted the color to last longer, I think it's really good to use the product that I have used and I mentioned it last time on my last video so you better watch it. If you want to know how I did this to my hair, like this, yeah. If you want to know how I did this to my hair, just keep on watching. first before anything else so okay guys as you can see my hair is a mess I know you can see it this is a mess today I am going to bleach my roots can you see the roots it's all black now it has grown so much seven months ago I have bleached my hair totally I bleached my hair three times and I didn't expect that people will watch it that was my very first hair DIY video that I uploaded on my YouTube channel and I am really thankful that people are watching my videos and please do subscribe if you haven't. Click the bell beside the subscribe button if you want to see more of me. We are just going to need 10 things to start. The very first thing that I am going to need or we are going to need bleaching powder. I have been using this since then, since I've started bleaching my hair. I trust this brand. The next thing is the developer. I know some people are saying that this is too harsh, but I want to um, lighten my hair fast. So that's why I'm using this 40%. I mean, 40 volume. And the third thing that we're going to need is plastic bowls. Plastic bowls. I am using Arctic Fox plastic bowls. Please don't use any metallic stuff in doing anything with your hair because it will damage your hair. Definitely damage your hair. So use plastic bowls. And the next thing is the brush. Use plastic brush also. And the next thing is gloves. I have been using this gloves for so long because it's um, 70 pieces. I mean 70 pieces. Hair dyes. For sectioning the hair. For the hair separation. Moisturizer. We need moisturizer, of course, for the products not to harm our skin. So the next thing is this old towel. I always recommend for you to use an old towel that um, you don't really care about getting stained with or getting messed up. Yeah. Next, an old shirt that you don't care about. You don't really care about getting messed up or getting uh, dirty, whatever. Just an old shirt. Okay, and also, last but not least, timer. Uh, I am always using my phone as my timer, so yeah, there shouldn't be a problem because everything is in your phone right now. Those are the 10 things that we need to start. First, we need to tie our hair. We need to section our hair into four parts. I always section my hair into four parts whenever I bleach my hair because it's easier that way. Look how long my hair have grown for the past seven months. Okay, my hair is now properly sectioned into four parts. The next thing we do is we put moisturizer on our skin. After putting on the moisturizer, we now put on our gloves. Now, I'm gonna use two bowls 
because I know that I will run out on the first bowl so I will prepare the second bowl. Time to make these products, okay? The ratio needs to be 1 is to 2. One scoop of this and two scoops of this. Right? Remember that, okay? Time to mix the products. Coffee first. It's almost midnight. By doing this at home, expect to have a real mess. So you better put something on the floor. to mix the products mix mix do not inhale the product i am telling you do not Time to put the product onto my hair. So, I suggest you start in the part, I mean with the part that you are going to be really comfortable with. Like I am going to be comfortable here on this side.
the last part. And the other half is already blown. this product sit it to my hair for 40 minutes yep we'll wait I decided not to waste the leftover I'm gonna put this bleach on the parts of my hair that still has hair dye so it will act as a hair dye remover and we'll see about the result okay I think everything is literally on my hair now and I put plastics in here so it will be extra light. So yeah, we will just wait for the time. The purple is gone. It's totally gone but yeah. I thought I can pull this off with just bleaching it once. But I don't think this is good. I think I'm gonna redo it after two or three days because I don't have time right now. So yeah, I'll see you in two or three days or whenever I had the time to bleach again. Yeah, see ya! Hi guys! So today my bleached hair is four days old. I mean I have bleached this hair four days ago and I have let this hair um, bleached hair rest for four days and yeah this is the result from bleaching it from roots to tips I don't like the result obviously it's not um, perfect I don't really tend to make it perfect but I want it at least to be not this far <laughs> I and mean, then look at this look at this too it's not even I want to make it even so I'm gonna bleach my roots once again today, tonight, and yeah, let's get going. So I am okay now with the separation of my hair. I guess I will just make this quick and yeah, I will start now.
done with the right side, with the right part of my hair. So now, let's do the left one. that I have posted or I have put in this video I hope you have seen the result already and it's really good I really like the result this result was better than the first time that I have bleached my hair totally better than that so much better than that so if you have watched my video before about me bleaching my hair I didn't have a result like this this one's really better so thank you so much for tuning in and thank you very much if you have watched that video where i had a shorter black hair yeah thank you so much if you have watched and if you haven't you better check it out as i've mentioned before i had a purple hair and it's really hard to remove and i forgot to buy a hair color remover so i used bleached and removing the residue here in my hair and the result is totally fine though it's really damaging but it's totally fine i like it disclaimer this video is totally not sponsored so everything that i have mentioned every product that i have said or i have used bought everything from my own money i get everything from my own pocket i did everything on my own and for your information i am not a professional hairstylist as you can see and maybe you have noticed that upon putting on the product i am not a professional hairstylist i'm going to say this to you again and again every time that i will bleach my hair or every time that i will film myself bleaching bleach at your own risk so be adventurous like me i love my hair right now so yeah nothing to lose but a healthy hair so this is really damaged hair care is the key so i guess that's all for today that's all for this video thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it i really appreciate you if you are still watching up to this moment then thank you very much i really do appreciate your effort your time in watching me um yeah do something that i love i hope this video was helpful for those who are looking for some information on how to bleach their hair at home so i hope this video is helpful and it helped me and i hope you enjoyed bleaching your hair too please subscribe to my channel if you haven't 
and if you haven't checked out my other videos please do and of course you can connect with me through my social media accounts i will put the link in the description box below thank you again so much and have a nice life see you on my next one bye